In artificial intelligence, an epoch means one complete pass of the entire training dataset through the learning algorithm. Imagine you have a large collection of examples like images or text that your AI model will learn from. The model studies this data, makes predictions, compares them to the correct answers, and then adjusts its internal settings to reduce mistakes. One full round trip through all of the training data is called an epoch. Every single example in the dataset is shown to the model at least once during this pass, giving it a chance to update itself. But why do we use multiple epochs? Usually one pass is not enough for the model to learn complex patterns. Multiple epochs let the model refine its understanding and improve with each round. With every epoch, the model works to minimize its errors, getting closer to making accurate predictions. The goal is for the model to generalize well to new unseen data, not just memorize the training set. Some related terms you should know. Batch size is the number of samples processed before the model updates its parameters. Because datasets can be huge, we divide them into smaller batches. An iteration is when one batch is processed. For example, if you have 1000 examples and a batch size of 100, one epoch would have 10 iterations. The number of epochs is a hyperparameter, which means it is a setting you choose before training, not something the model learns by itself. But be careful. Training for too many epochs can cause overfitting, where the model learns the training data too well and does not perform well on new data. Techniques like early stopping help prevent this by halting training when performance on a separate validation set starts to get worse. In short, epochs are a key part of training AI models, helping them learn and improve through repeated exposure to data. Like, share and subscribe to Softech Explorer.